Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. If you're new here and today's video I'm going to be working on our mobile home that we are purchasing. So we currently do not own this just yet, but we are in the process of buying this single wide. It's a two bedroom, two bath for anyone who is new here. Um, and I actually just recently got the title. So I wanted to um, tell you guys a little bit about it. So I accidentally <laughs> told somebody that it was a 1985 and I was completely wrong. It's not. I don't know what I was thinking. I have messed up on the year of this mobile home multiple times telling people the wrong um, year. But I have the thing right in front of me and it is a 1981 um, Heritage. So 1981 Heritage mobile home. That's the year and the make of it. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so for anyone who has been wondering what type of mobile home it is, that's what it is. I'm not completely sure of the dimensions of it right now because I keep forgetting. I have, like, the worst memory when it comes to stuff like that. But I will have it in the description box if you're curious of the exact um, square footage and all that of this mobile home. Anyway. Today, I am working on caulking all of the trim that was put up that wasn't seamed off correctly. Um, usually, whenever someone puts up trim, they usually caulk right away after that. But obviously, we're in an older mobile home. The people who did the drywall and the trim before we moved in were in a hurry, and they did it just cheaply and quickly. So, I'm here to fix it up and make it look really pretty and nice and seamless. That's what I'm working on today. I'm going to show you guys the products I'm using, and I'm also going to give you guys like a little demo on how I um, like caulk the ceiling or the seams and stuff without making a humongous mess. I still make a mess, but it's not that bad, and I feel like all of it looks really seamless. So I'm just going to give you guys a couple tips and tricks for doing that. Um, really quick, that is it's probably not the proper way to do it, but like I said, it works for me and maybe it will work for you. So let me show you guys the products I'm using and then what I am talking about as far as like the trim goes in this house. Okay, so first off, I'm using this all-purpose um, caulk. This is actually from Dollar Tree for a dollar, so you cannot beat it. I actually really like this stuff because it's a lot, um, it has like a thinner texture than like the ones that you can buy from like Walmart and stuff or Home Depot. I like it to be a little bit thinner because I feel like it goes a lot further, if that makes sense. Um, it does take a little bit longer to dry as well, but once it's dry, you can paint it and it looks just as good. So, I got three of those because that's all they had left at our Dollar Tree. And then I got my old um, caulking gun. This thing has been through so much, as you can see. I make a huge mess, <laughs> but over, the, over time, I've gotten better at doing this and it just takes practice. So I'm going to give you guys a little demo, but really quick before we do that, I'm going to show you what I am working on. All right, you guys, so this is what I'm talking about, the seam that I am going to be filling in um, in the entire living room. I'm going to try to go as far as I can with those three bottles, but I don't know how far it will go, but I'm going to try my best. But anyway, this is what I'm working on, and um, this is actually the other side of the living room. I'm trying to not shake. But you can see there's a, just a huge gap. And sometimes it's a lot um, bigger in some areas. Just, that's just because, like, the house isn't completely even. I mean, this is an old trailer. But anyway, that's what I'm working on. Also, really quick, I just wanted to show you guys a section that I actually already finished. So when I redid the coffee bar, I didn't actually put that in that video. But I did go through and, um, like, fill in all those seams. So it looks so much better than this so you can tell like a huge difference um and so i'm gonna give you guys a couple before and after pictures at the end of the video but we're gonna get right into this and let's just get busy so you want to put the caulk inside of the caulking gun but you don't want to tighten it yet like because you can pull this to tighten it you don't want to tighten it until after you cut this because if you do that if you tighten it and then cut it all of this stuff will just start like coming out of it and um, it will get everywhere, so you want to cut this first and then tighten it um, before you start, if that makes any sense at all. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I do this. Okay, so y'all seen, oops, I just cut um, 
just the little tip of it off and you don't want to tighten it until you're ready to start actually caulking the ceiling because if I was to tighten this right now, it would start coming out. So you don't want to tighten it until you're up at the wall ready to go. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys my little setup. So I just got a um, like grocery bag just in case I have any spills. I just lay my caulking gun on that. Um, I haven't tightened it yet and I got my baby wipes ready. I got like my little fake tripod area set up. So I'm gonna set you guys up right here and kind of explain how I do this. So, let me get y'all right. Um, I have a chair because I don't have a step stool or anything, but what you're going to want to do, I hope you guys can see this because I can't see the camera, um, but you're going to go ahead and start tightening this, and all you do is like pull your gun, like the little thing, and the tighter it gets, it'll start coming out, but you want to go slow because you don't want to like just let it like spew out everywhere. Okay, so there it goes. It starts coming out. Um, I grab a couple baby wipes ready. I get those ready to go. And I point the gun up at the corner, and I slowly um, just run the gun along the edge and squeeze out as I go. And I kind of do like about, I don't know, about that much of a section at a time. And you want to release this, obviously, because you don't want the pressure to keep pushing it out, like see, like that. I don't waste this. Usually I'll just use my finger and put it up there. Um, but you need to make sure you release your level, your lever, because if you don't, then it will just continue to push out the caulk that's inside of there. So, anyway, so now that it's up there, you guys can see that. I take a baby wipe, and I take my finger, like, into the baby wipe like this, and I just run it along, just like that. And then I go one more time, very gently, just to get any of the pieces that are, like, I don't know, like hanging there, but you guys can tell already that's like a huge difference. Um, there will be some spots that you'll have to touch up that don't like fill completely, but you can always do that um, a second time around or right away if you want to. That's what I do throughout the whole place. Um, and like I mentioned, if I get like some on the end of the gun like this, I just use my finger and wipe it off and just kind of press it up into the ceiling like that. And then once again, taking the baby wipe, and cleaning up any of the mess right away. If you let it dry and try to clean up the mess, you're never gonna be able to clean it up. It's gonna be just. Don't wanna sleep tonight at all. Just wanna watch them stars fall. Would you? Who don't wanna try to make up dreams just to be seen? I wanna lay here beside you, oh quiet. Fire breath and open sky. It's not what we know. It's where we go. It's not what we see, it's what we choose to be. Some flowers, high grass, and beer feet. Oh, but you each second is a tree. next to you It's true Nowadays there's nothing I wouldn't do So as you guys have seen, I got my son to take a nap. I had to like rock him to sleep. He's been super cuddly lately. I think he was like getting in his molars or something. But I just wanted to show you guys so far what I've gotten done so you can see how much better this looks than over here. So that's what we're working on now that you guys know. So I'm just going to speed up the rest of the video and just get busy.
so I was able to get all of this starting way over here, all that done down the hallway, around the trim in the hallway, up this, and then I even did some of these strips that are on the ceiling. I think I did three of them so far. So all three of those, and then I did right along this right here. So it already looks so much better. I'm gonna show you guys the other side just so you can get an idea of how horrible it looks on the other side of the trailer. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the trailer. You can see like this trim, like how gapped it is. Um, like right here, this is just a shadow, but it's hard to really tell. Um, but you can definitely see it on this strip right here. And I haven't caulked this side of the trim yet either or um, not up there. So you can see the difference. Like look how big of a difference that makes. Um, and oh, let me show you about the fan as well. So you can see that little space that's right there. It's not there on this side. And I'm sorry, I'm like trying to go slow so you guys can see. But anyway, it's starting to look a lot better. I'm going to continue to do this side. And then I will show you guys some before and after clips. By the way, I think I mentioned it, but that was just one tube. I'm going to go ahead and switch the tube out to a new one. Go ahead and cut the tip and continue on the other side. I'm getting like pretty far with just one tube. So I probably am going to be able to finish this entire room today, um, which will be great because I've been really needing to do this. It's just one of those projects that are just tedious and that just take forever. So, but I'm working on it and I'm hoping that I can finish it all today. I've been chasing all the things I never had before All the way down by the river I found a place where I can drown the old you And when you look on the horizon What you see is what you get A sparkle in a diamond And the southern sunset So the trim in the living room and the kitchen is completely done as far as like the ceiling goes. I just busted my butt. <laughs> my hands are sore, but I got everything filled in. It looks so much better than it did before. Oh my gosh, it's just like night and day. I can't believe just how much it would make a difference in here, but it just looks so clean and crisp. So I wish you guys could like see it in person, like the before and after, because it was just... Oh, it needed it so bad. And I do know I need to paint the trim in here, but this is like that waxy texture. So I'm going to have to buy some good paint to do it. And I just haven't done that yet. And I need to still paint the kids' bedroom doors, but, you know, it's a process. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is it. I'm going to show you guys some before and afters. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, y'all.